Before anyone says anything, I'm not pro. I'm not for or against this, um, but I compiled a list of pros and cons, arguments for and against. Um, legalizing weed. Hey guys, welcome back and today I'm going to talk to you about yet another controversial subject. Um, this one however, it's involving weed and the legalization of said drug. I've summarized it down to basically seven to five and I've written them all down here on my tank. All right, so basically for and against the legalization of weed in the UK. Now, I don't have all the scientific facts and whatnot behind it, but you know, these are statements that have been researched, so I'm not just chatting bullshit. Weed essentially is, or so they figured out, is 114 times less deadly than alcohol, which is a drug that is already legalized, providing you're over the age of 18. What they mean by less deadly is there's the less deaths involving marijuana, cannabis, dope, weed, whatever you want to call it. In comparison to alcoholism and alcohol abuse and all the rest of it, so 114 times less deadly. It's a pretty good stat to have if you're pro legalization. Now one thing that um, is another pro for it is that the one thing that many people thought would happen is that you know if you legalize weed and whatnot, you're gonna have a crime epidemic. Well in fact, it's not actually the case. Um, because in Colorado over in America they they already have legal marijuana. What's happening in regards to this crime epidemic which apparently has been thrown around? Um, quite the opposite has actually happened. You've got 15% less crime now and 50, that's five zero, 50 percent less murders. So that's quite a massive drop in crime and that since they've legalized the use of cannabis another big plus is that the from from what people have said and tests that they've done is smoking marijuana can cause uh, sorry can cause can kill cancer cells like I say I'm not a big I'm not pro or against legalizing cannabis um, but you know anything that can kill cancer I, I'm all for you know I'll be willing to let it go to trials get more scientific stats on it just see how true that actually is um, as there is a guy who claims that um, cannabis cured his cancer I think that's more of a hearsay than anything else. Um, but you know, that is what it is. Take it as you will. It is actually less addictive than coffee. Another drug, technically, caffeine itself is a drug and it is an addictive drug like smoking, um, like alcohol. Um, you know, people wake up in the morning, first thing they do is they reach for the coffee mug. You know, they can't start their day without a cup. So I can kind of see the truth behind that. Now, if they were to legalise cannabis in this country, which would therefore mean that, you know, they would, the, the government would then be able to tax it, um, it's estimated that they would raise um, £900 million in tax revenue alone. Um, that includes the taking out 
X amount for the policing of cannabis and taking people to trial and jailing people for the use of cannabis. So, you know, that in itself would be saving money, but then, you know, the actual tax that they would be able to get on it, it roughly equates to around about £900 million pounds um that they would generate in in tax revenue you know i I think 900 million pounds in today's economy and today's taxation and spending by the government etc you know would go quite a long way i'm no economist but another pro would be um Public opinion since 2002 has changed dramatically. Um, People are less likely to think that, you know, it's going to either kill you or make you do something um, or turn you into a psychotic killer and end up killing hundreds of people. I think it's because the general public are kind of understanding a little bit more about what weed is, what it does, the side effects, etc., um, so public opinion itself has changed a lot in like the last 15 years. So that could sway quite a few votes as to whether um, cannabis, marijuana, whatever you want to call it, is to be legalised. And another thing that happened in Colorado as well. Um, since legalising marijuana, they it has created thousands of jobs Um, I didn't go into much I didn't research into what kind of jobs they were getting them into but you know I'm I'm assuming going by the general way of how I was reading it it was things like growers um, distributors suppliers things like that so it, it created thousands of jobs. So not only will it increase the tax revenue, but it will increase thousands of jobs, therefore will boost the economy itself. So, I mean, that's all the, the, the plus points that I, I've managed to find. Now, whilst I was doing my research on this, I, I was trying to find all the arguments against the legalising of cannabis and... There's not that many, and which a lot of you will probably be thinking, but there's this and there's this and there's this and there's this. Well, the one big negative which I have a massive say about is the fact that it affects your coordination. Now, if we were to legalise weed, you might well find that people will start smoking weed and driving Um, so just like mobile phones just like alcohol you know we're going to find an increase of that from a road safety perspective I think legalizing marijuana is a bad thing Um, because we're going to have a lot more people on the roads that just are not going to see people like myself on motorcycles so in terms of safety I think it's a big no-no Now, it is a proven fact that smoking cannabis, even the most hardcore of cannabis smokers, it causes paranoia, um, which can lead to anxiety and a few other mental health issues. Um, Now, long-term effects of this have been proven um, to be very detrimental to the person themselves, um, cause depressions, anxieties, paranoia, schizophrenia is the the biggest one. So, you know, people like that will be affected most definitely. So now the other two downsides to legalizing marijuana is one, it's harmful to pregnant women. But, if you look at it, most drugs are harmful to pregnant women. The amount of things that you put into your bodies on a normal day-to-day basis have a little note on there saying, oh, if such and such happens, please consult your doctor or 
please consult your doctor before you start taking this medicine or you know just along those kind of lines um, and you know so you know the fact that it's harmful to pregnant women is kind of a given anyway uh, and harmful to their babies but that goes for the same with pretty much any other kind of over-the-counter drug you can get um, going from medical drugs through to more you know things like alcohol and nicotine and things like that and the other final one is you're going to it's going to cause more couch potatoes as in more lazier people I mean we already have a nation of lazy people already if we were to legalize marijuana it would just create more laziness it'll also create obesity um, from these lazy people and rather than causing unemployment it will cause the unemployable uh, just those people that just don't want to go out and find jobs you know they, they'll never find a job themselves they never really tried can't be bothered so what are your thoughts guys in the comments what do you think yay or nay so if you wouldn't mind liking and subscribing and sharing with all your friends family etc I'd like to hear their points of view as well because there is more than enough math to go around and I'll catch you next time.